There will be times uh, when you're doing the multi-operator display that you may have some operation with two operators. If I uh, scroll this in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better here, and I'm just going to move it to the right here. Notice this one here. This actually has two operators on the mount wheel step here. Right? I could put a perspective up here if you want to see where you are at any time in this. So it's kind of nice to have that available to see where you're working. You can see, look at the crosshair at the top right hand corner there. Okay, so this one here has got two operators. Now, if I hit the right button here and I do a multi, I uncheck the multi operator display, you'll see that it actually doubles in size here. So that's the effect, that's the total amount of work. And if you wanted to see the effect of having two operators, you can put it here, it will do that here. And now you notice it's got a little smudged here because of the detail. I, of course, can zoom in a little further if I want to see more detail on that. Right, you can see that here. Another well, thing you can do if you get a smudge is just click the view all, uh, the fit in window, and that will actually make it uh, a little bit clearer for you here too. So if I want to change anything here, let's say over here we want to, uh, in this case, this operator's kind of high. Maybe we want to add two operators here so it balances up closer. So what you have to do to insert the two operators, you have to double click. And of course that takes you out to that particular one in isolation here. Now we're just looking at that particular model here. And of course we can come in here then, hit the right button. These uh, changes will only take effect uh, when you're drilling in here. So I make two operators here. Click on this. And you see it half the size here. Now if I double click and go back, you can see now this is half the size more in line with it here. Okay. And of course when you have the, uh, the view on here for the display multiple operators, I can put it back to view all here. And I can pop it out to my Yamazumi by going to the summary here and go to the Yamazumi chart. And the information will be passed out here. I'll just shrink this down here. Maybe zoom into like 25% just so we can see here. And if we look closely at the, the labels here, out here, this is this one here. You can click on it here. You can see it shows you get two operators here. And the time, of course, reflects the network content. And the same over here, if we scroll out a little bit. You'll see again, two operators will be listed here. Mount wheels, two operators in your Yamazumi chart as well at this point. Okay, so this gives you just an idea of how you can actually um, uh, play with multiple operators in the multi, uh, uh, multi model view to, to see where your balances might be uh, leading you.